How would you like your prints to stick to the print bed every time you print? I'll show you how to set up your bed and throw in a few other tips and tricks as well. When it comes to the Cocoon Create Mini, for maximum adhesion, I've found the levelling of the bed is not as important as the size of the gap between the heated nozzle and the surface of the print bed. The instructions that came with your printer will tell you to use the included bed levelling card, a business sized piece of paper, and to adjust the gap between the nozzle and print bed to a point where there is a slight resistance when pulling on the paper. This is a problem, because I've found that the gap this process creates is just too large, and the extruded filament tends to lie on the surface rather than get pressed into it, which is what you want. For maximum adhesion, you want that first layer of filament to be pushed into the print surface. Before each print, I now run the bed levelling procedure and adjust the corners of the print bed up to the nozzle, until I can see just a tiny bit of light between the nozzle and print bed. You don't want the nozzle touching the print bed, but you do want it to be set very close. Using this procedure guarantees me good adhesion with no warping on all of my prints. It is a bit of trial and error, so be prepared to run the bed levelling process a few times before getting it right. While I'm here, I'll show you how I start a print. I find it pays to pay attention to the start of the print as it can alleviate some problems. As the nozzle heats up and filament starts to extrude, I like to keep control of the filament and pull it away from the work area. As part of the mini startup process, it does this little routine where it extrudes some filament at the front right corner of the bed before travelling left across the bed. At this point, I watch carefully and am sure to pull this away from the start of the print. If this is left unattended, the extruded ball of filament can get dragged into the print area. With the bed set correctly, the nozzle lays down a nice solid first layer. I was using rafts to try and overcome poor bed adhesion, but now that I have the levelling process sorted, I prefer to use the brim option. I find the brim gives excellent support and keeps the model locked in place without wasting time and filament on raft layers. What you see printing here is a part I created to attach my mobile phone to a small tripod for more stable video recording. I'm so impressed with the accuracy and detail of the Cocoon Create Mini. It's exactly what I need to print those smaller bits and pieces to make my life just that little bit easier. The edges of the print hold a nice sharp line and the surfaces are smooth to touch. To the naked eye, it looks like a purchased product and family members are surprised when I tell them it's printed. Oh, and one more tip. Originally, I had the filament mounted in such a way that the line was pulled from the bottom of the reel. If you take the reel off and turn it 180 degrees, it feeds from the top of the reel and gives the line a nice flowing curve, putting less tension on the line feed. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.